the Golden Temple in Amritsar, the holiest of holies for Sikhs around the world. David Cameron came to this corner of the Punjab on the border with Pakistan, not just to see the epicenter of one of the world's great faiths, but also to visit a place where hundreds of thousands of British voters can trace their roots. Every Sikh is expected to give up a week of their lives to volunteer here, and every day they feed 100,000 pilgrims and visitors. But if Amritsar has many ties to Britain today, it also has echoes of Britain's less glorious past. Just a few steps from the temple are the Jallianwala Gardens, and here, on April the 13th, 1919, thousands gathered for a festival. A British general was sent in to disperse the crowd. He blocked all the exits. He lined up his riflemen there and ordered them to fire. They didn't stop until they ran out of ammunition. Hundreds lay dead, more than a thousand injured. Past prime ministers have expressed regret. The Queen has spoken of a distressing episode. But David Cameron is the first serving British prime minister to come here in person to pay his respects. There was no formal apology, but his words in the Book of Remembrance and to the camera were uncompromising and clearly heartfelt. This was a deeply shameful event in British history, one that Winston Churchill at the time, quite rightly, said was monstrous. We should never forget what happened here. And in remembering, I think it's very important, we always make sure that Britain stands up for the right to protest peacefully all over the world. This was David Cameron's last day in India, a day he said of shared gladness and shared sadness, looking to the future and not just the past. James Landau, BBC News, Amritsar.